Welcome back to another episode of KPRDX O News. I'm your news anchor, Logan, and I cannot wait to share what we have today. We're gonna bring you straight back to what the story we were talking about on Friday. But before we get there, if you haven't seen that episode, you should pause this one right now, go back and watch that. You're not gonna wanna have missed what we were learning about this last Friday. Spoiler alert, Jesus died for you and for me. But for those of us who are caught up on the action, we're gonna take you back to that story. But first, we wanna give you a quick word from our sponsors that allow us to do what we do here at KPRDX O News. Breaking news, breaking news. Everyone, did you know what God has done in this very moment? That's right, he's gathered us. I hope that you guys were able to invite some of your friends to come and gather together with you. If you haven't, it's not too late. Hit pause, go grab your neighbors, go call up your friends. Come and invite them into what we're doing, into what God's doing. We don't want you to be answering this question alone, but here it comes, you ready? Who gathers his people? God gathers his people. All right, one more time, even louder now. Who gathers his people? God gathers his people. Wow, that just never gets old. And we're so thankful that God keeps gathering us. All right, now we're gonna get to that story soon. But first, here's a word from our generous sponsors. The first of those is a message from a business startup in Old Jerusalem. This company is trying to revolutionize the world of walking. They claim that you, by slipping on a pair of these shoes, you'll never walk the same. We introduce you to the Air Jesus. Hey guys, do I have a product for you here today? So, is it taking you forever to get from village to village? Is it taking you forever to get from your friend's house to your home? Whoa, whoa! So hold up! I have a product for you! It's the new line of air! Jesus! Oh man! If you need to walk places, this is the product! If you need to run places, this is the product! Oh, Old Jerusalem just found itself a new sandal! It's gonna be a killer hit! You need to go to the stores right now. Let's go live to a client who just purchased one. Yeah, so I just got the the air the air Jesus the other day, and and man, I need to show you this product right here. Mm, mm, mm. I'm more flexible now, and now whenever I'm herding the sheep, it's so much easier. Instead of three hours, it takes me two. It's so much easier. Instead of three hours, it takes me two. And by golly, my dogs, they ain't barking no more. <laughs> they used to be. <laughs> <laughs> they used to be. Not no more. Not no more. I need to show you all one more time this product. Ooh. 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 That's pretty good. <laughs> Back to you. Back to you. You had it from a live customer. He was satisfied. So. Go out, get your air Jesus! It's only two gods! Two, 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 two gods! One Jesus! That's right! Go get it right now before they're sold out! Don't wait to get a pair of these sweet kicks while supplies last. All right, up next, we are gonna hear from Sky High Skydiving, LLC. They are our go-to company for any of your jumping out of an airplane needs. We here at KPRDX O News find ourselves in need of jumping out of a plane quite frequently. And our friends over at Sky High Skydiving LLC have never failed. They are the best in the business. Let's bring it to them. 
Hi guys, uh, Sky High here with uh, Sky High Free Falling LLC. Um, so today I'm gonna show you a couple positions that you could skydive in. But you know, since I, I'm a little injured up from skydiving, um, we're gonna bring out a friend out here to help us, to help me, because I need, I need help. <laughs> Okay, now here's a really hard one, okay? First you're gonna like cannonball up, you know, one of these, and you're gonna keep spinning in a 360 motion. And as fast as you can go, you'll get more momentum, you'll free fall a little faster. Now try that. Wow, Logan, that was great. Okay. Last one, take out that Coleman stove on your way down, maybe cook some eggs and some bacon, you know, make some brekkie, and then you'll be good. And then you'll la safely land, hopefully. Wow. We are so lucky to have you as a sponsor, Sky High. And it looks like they have one last thing they want to say before leaving us. Wow. And that's this. Don't forget, everyone, Jesus saves us from our sins. Thank you, Sky. Wait, that's that's big news. In fact, I think that would make a great big picture question. Okay, say it after me. Who saves us from our sins? Jesus saves us from our sins. Okay, one more time, because that's really big and really important. Who saves us from our sins? Jesus saves us from our sins. All right, we're gonna get to more on that later. But for now, we wanna bring you to our last sponsor of the day, an old faithful, our good friends at Freeze Dance Co. Successfully dropping our dance moves below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. To you, Freeze Dance Co. Thanks, Freeze Dance Co. You never let us down. So, do you remember what we heard from Sky High just a few minutes ago? That's right. Jesus saves us from our sins. Who saves us from our sins? Jesus saves us from our sins. And it's now time to dive deeper into what that means. But in order to do that, Jacob, our very own Jacob, is putting his time machine cap back on and taking us directly to the action. But before we go to Jacob, I think that we should pray and ask God to teach us something new, something fresh about himself. Dear God, I just wanna thank you so much for your word. Lord, that 
it is fresh and new to us always, God, that it's living and active, that it is teaching us who you are and, and how we can look more like you. Lord, I pray that for those of us who are hearing the story of what Jesus has done for the first time, God, that it would save them. Lord, and if there's anyone who's heard this a hundred times, God, I pray that they would hear it in a new way, Lord, um, and that we would be reminded of how good you are. God, teach us something about you. Lord, we love you so much. We're so thankful for you. It's in your name we pray, amen. All right, well, you've heard enough from me here in the studio. Jacob, we're sending it to you. Here we go, guys, to the past. <laughs> no orange, broccoli! No, how could this have happened? Ah. It wasn't It wasn't supposed to happen this way. He was supposed to save us. He, he, he. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but what are we supposed to do now? Where do we go? I don't know. All I did was hide and deny him. Where do we go from here? Look, Peter, Peter, we just gotta go. We just gotta get out of here, okay? Oh man. Peter, 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 come here. Do I know you? Oh, sorry, I'm Jacob. I'm not really from around here, but I kind of have a couple questions, if that's okay. Uh, now's not really a good time, but go for it. Well, I was just wondering how you're feeling right now. How I'm feeling? I've never felt worse. Like, Jesus was supposed to save us. He was supposed to, to make all of this good, and he's dead. There, my life is, is practically over. Well, don't you know what's supposed to happen next? Next? Are you trying to make me feel even worse? There is no next. There's nothing. Jesus is dead. Wow, guys, Jesus told the disciples before he left that he was, he was going to come back, but they don't seem to understand that. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna send it back to y'all, but I'll, I'll let you know. Wow, Peter is really upset, isn't he? And I mean, I can imagine why. I bet all of the disciples were really upset. Can you imagine what it would have been like to be with Jesus and to have to watch him die, the person that you had given your whole life to, and to not know what's coming next? Oh man, I mean, how would you feel? I, I know that I would feel despair, but you know what? The good news that, that we get to, that we know to be true is that Jesus didn't stay dead. And he's not dead today. Jesus is alive. And that's some really, really good news. But let's look at what the Bible is saying about this story. So today we're going to be in John chapter 20. So turn your Bibles to John chapter 20. If you're having trouble with that, don't be afraid to ask your parents or to hit pause and take as much time as you need to find this place. You're really going to want to see what God's word has to say about what Jesus has done. So while you're turning there, let me set the scene a little bit. If you remember from our Good Friday service, we talked about how Jesus had died on the cross, how Jesus had died for us, for our sins. And now, at this point in the story, Jesus has been dead for three whole days. That's a long time. Now, Jesus had this friend named Mary. Now, not his mom Mary, but it was a different Mary, his friend Mary. And she was going to Jesus' tomb to visit him. But when she got there, well, things weren't exactly what she was expecting. Let's turn to our Bibles in John chapter 20, starting in verse 1, to see what happens. It says, Now, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. What are we gonna do now? I don't know, I feel like everything is just pointless Peter, now. John, Peter, John, what? something terrible has happened. No, something absolutely terrible No, I can't happened. take any more bad news. What? I, no, you don't get it. I, I woke up in the morning and I was walking over to the tomb, to Jesus' mm -hmm. tomb, yeah. and 
the Roman guards weren't there, which was so odd, and, and the tomb was empty. Like, Jesus' body wasn't there. I, someone must have taken it. Whoa, 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 I think he must have gone to the wrong tomb. No, or no, or maybe they the moved the body to a different no, tomb. No, 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 no. Or... Yeah, there's absolutely no way that one, the Roman guards would be gone, and then two, that huge boulder would be moved yeah. all on its own. There's no, no way. But I know what I saw with my eyes, and you guys need to go Are see you it. sure go. you went? Okay, yes. then let's go. let's go check go it out. It. Let's go, go look. Go. Excuse me, excuse me. Are yeah. you Mary Magdalene? Yes, yes I am. Who, but who are you? Oh, sorry. Uh, my name's Jacob. Uh, I just had a couple of questions, if that's okay. <sighs> yes, what are your questions? Well, so why are you so sad? Sad? Sad doesn't even begin to explain how I feel. Jesus saved me years ago, and he was my teacher. He was my Lord. And now he's dead. He didn't even deserve the death. He didn't deserve to be killed. And now he's gone. Yeah, well, I get why you're so sad, but don't you know the good news? I have to go. P my, my friends Peter and John, are uh, they're getting far away. Man, they really don't seem to know the good news yet. Well, maybe they'll eventually find out. I'm gonna go see. Send it back to y'all. Wow, Mary's really sad too. First Peter and now Mary. And, and now they think that Jesus has not only died, but his body's been stolen. If only they knew that Jesus is alive. Can anyone tell us why Jesus is alive? Good answer. Jesus is alive because God raised him from the dead. You see, Jesus chose to die so that he could pay for the punishment of our sins. And God was satisfied with his sacrifice. And that's really good news. You see, because God was satisfied with Jesus' sacrifice, he chose to raise Jesus from the dead. But you know what? We're going to dig more into that as this story unfolds. Keep in mind that this story is a good story. It's a story full of joy. And while some of our friends are, well, full of despair right now, thinking that Jesus is still dead, I think that they're about to see something that's really amazing, something that we know to be true. So let's read our Bibles again and see what that is. We're going to be in John 20, picking up again in verse 3. It says, so Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and he went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there. Man, what is going on? Where could Jesus' body be? All right, man, you're fast. Is it true his body's gone? Save okay. yourself. Wow. Where, where's the cloth? The cloth where his body's supposed to be is, is here, but the body's gone. What could that mean? Who could have taken it? What happened? Do you have any idea? Peter, 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 Peter. This could only mean one thing. What? Jesus, he, he has to be alive! He's alive! He said he would come back to life, and now, now he is! He came back to is life! Is that what he meant? What else could it mean? <laughs> Jesus, he's alive! He's alive! Oh, wait, Whoa. that's not possible! How, how is it possible? He's gone! I, the, the body's gone, the cloth is still here. He has to be alive, that's what he's been saying this whole time! Wait, what Jesus! Is this? What does this mean? We should go! Let's go, go tell! Go. Go. He's go. alive! Wait, come back! Wow, it looks like some of the disciples are realizing what we know to be true. Jesus is alive. And you know, they were so sad and now they're so hopeful. Why is it such good news that Jesus rose from the dead? Yeah, that's right. You know, if Jesus wouldn't have risen from the dead, sin and death would have won. But since he rose from the dead, he defeated sin. Oh, wow. It looks like Mary's right there. Let's see if she realizes the same thing. How can they be happy at a time like this? I don't, I just don't understand. Woman, why are you crying? Someone took Jesus' body and I don't know where they placed it. I just don't know where it is. Hey, why are you weeping? What are you looking for? Sir, are 
you the gardener here? There was a, there was a body and I don't know where it is. I don't know where they put it. I don't know where the body is. Mary. <laughs> Wait, teacher. <laughs> teacher, it's oh me. my god. It's Jesus. Really me. Yeah. Oh, I'm here. So good to see you. Oh, it's great to see you too. Oh my goodness. Wow. But hey, I, I want to celebrate with you, but we can't clean. There's okay. something I need you to go do, okay? Okay, what do you what do you need me to do? What do you I, I need Teacher, you to go. It? Soon I'm going to be ascending to God the yeah. Father. Okay. And I need you to go and tell my disciples this, okay? Okay. Go and tell them that I am ascending <laughs> soon. Okay. To God, my Father, yeah. and your Father. My God and your God, okay? okay. I'm going to. Yes, it's Teacher. Going to I will do that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. What? Jesus is alive. Did you just see that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mary, Mary. Come, wait, come here. Jacob, what are you doing here? Did you just see that? It was Jesus. Yes, I did. That was so amazing. Oh my gosh. How are you feeling now? I have never felt any better. I mean, not even death could hold Jesus. He's truly our savior. I'm overwhelmed with joy. I, I need to go tell all the disciples. Go. Oh, wow, guys. That was truly amazing. When I got here, this place was full of despair. Everyone was so sad. But now, did you see that? They were so joyful. Whew. Man, I'm gonna go see what else I can find, but I'll be back soon. See you guys. Wow, this is the best news. Jesus is alive. He's not dead. He didn't stay dead. He's alive, even today. Did you see how much joy everyone had when they realized how, that Jesus is alive? This is the best news. It's really good news because, well, we are sinners. We're sinners in need of a savior. You see, we lie, we cheat, we hurt our friends, we even hate our friends sometimes. And that, well, that's sinful and God can't accept that. It has to be punished. But Jesus, even though he didn't do anything wrong, chose to die and take our punishment. And God accepted Jesus' sacrifice. He accepted the sacrifice that Jesus made so that we could live. And that's amazing. That's the best news that we could ever have. And now, well, Jesus is king of everything. Logan, Logan. Whoa, Jacob. What's up? Man, it's good to see you. Yeah, oh Welcome man. Welcome back. Thank you. And hey, guess what? I was, I heard everything you just said about Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And oh my goodness, guys. Jesus wants us to be with him in heaven. He wants us to believe in him, that he sacrificed himself and that that we can, we can choose to be with God. That's right, Jesus wants us to be saved from our sin. Yeah. But how do we do that, Jacob? Well, you see, there are three things that we need to believe in. Okay. So first, we need to believe that we are sinners. Second, we need to believe that Jesus died and took our sin with him as he died. And then third, we need to believe that Jesus rose from the grave and he defeated death and sin. Wow, okay, so we have to believe that we're sinners in need of a savior, Yeah. believe that Jesus is that savior who mm -hmm. died so that we could live, and then believe that God raised him from the dead, defeating sin and death? Yeah, you got it. You know, that reminds me of Romans chapter 10, verse nine. And it says, because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's some pretty good news. Such great news. And you know, we should tell people about this news. We should. We should tell people about this news. And if this is news that you believe in, if you believe that Jesus is your savior, and if you wanna be saved from your sin, you should talk to somebody. Talk to your parents. Talk to somebody who loves Jesus. Maybe someone from your church or, or even someone here, one of us from Paradox Church. We would love to talk with you about what it means to give your life to Jesus. And you know what? Why don't we celebrate that? Let's do it. One way that we can celebrate is by singing songs and playing games and just being joyful with the Lord. And so we're gonna do both of those things today. First up, we're gonna sing together. great chance for us to worship together, to worship our King Jesus. You see, because when Jesus rose from the dead, God made him king over everything. 
And we have a chance to praise him and to worship that fact. So today we're gonna sing the song, King of Everything. We're gonna sing this song as a reminder to ourselves and as a declaration to God that Jesus is King of Everything, including our lives. So if you're able, why don't you stand with us as we sing this song together? So because we've been forgiven, mm -hmm. we get to forgive others, but then we also get to share with them the good news of Jesus. So we want our church to be full of all our friends next week. We do, we do want our church to be full of all of our friends. And you know what? If you have not started coming back to church in person yet, you can still invite your friends to church by sending them Paradox Kids Live. So we get to tell people through Paradox Kids Live about the good news of Jesus. So if you show them where to find these videos, you can tell them about the good news of Jesus too. That is some good news. 
Man, so that is what we're being sent on mission with this week. Your mission this week is to invite one friend to church, either in person or online. You think they're gonna do that? Oh my goodness, I think they're gonna do it. I think so too. That's awesome. So as God sends us on mission, he sends us on mission with this. Matthew 28 verses 19 through 20 say this. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. We will see you next week. Go in peace.